up everyone so today we're gonna be going on an Algarve road trip over the next five to six days we're gonna be exploring the East Algarve by car with my parents and yeah obviously Carol as usual so this is gonna be the first time using our new backpack so this is the packed backpack I think it's uh, 30 liters and it's pretty cool, we never planned this, but since they have this laptop division in the middle, it means that on the right side, I can put my stuff, my clothes, and then on the other half, I can separate Carol's stuff. So these are her packing cubes as well, and these are just some flip-flops. And then we'll just take one day pack just to carry around like the drone and stuff during the day. That also has my laptop. Another big difference for this trip as well is that I'm now using clothes made from merino wool from a company called Unbound Merino. So I'd heard about this kind of clothing for ages, that it's good for travelers, mainly because it's odor resistant. It doesn't really absorb sweat like other materials. It's also temperature regulating. It's fast drying, very soft and also anti wrinkle, which is great because obviously as we're backpacking and stuff, Usually you're folding up your clothes and they're always wrinkly, but these ones don't seem to be like that. So in all the Portugal videos so far, I've actually been using this kind of material. I just haven't mentioned it yet because I was testing it out. So we're just going to finish up packing up here and then the road trip will begin. So our first stop is a place called the Roman Ruins of Mehlil and it was one euro per person and I think here you can find some ruins from the first and second centuries Roman ruins. So this part right now is just like the, the museum area. I guess this is some of the artifacts that they, they found here. I think they discovered this place in the 1800s. Yeah, so we've got some really good sculptures here, well preserved. So this one is dated around 260 AD. Got three of them, this one has barely any notes. Emperor Hadrian. So these are the Roman ruins of a villa, a Roman villa, that I think the construction started around the first century, but then it has stuff from like the second and third century up to the fourth century, I think. And then it also has like a Portuguese farmhouse that was built here. And I think that was around the, the 19th century. So you have a bit of a mix of the Roman and then some other later historic buildings that we're going to check out. So this area here was apparently a Roman spa. So this would have been one of the little thermal baths. And even on this side, you can see the, the patterns. Even the ground has some mosaics. Oh, yeah. So I guess this whole floor must have just been full of mosaics and patterns. Must have been beautiful. Barely anything left, but yeah, you can see they use different colors too, like red, blues. Hard to imagine how this must have been. So this is the ruins of one of the Roman houses, a Casa Romana. And it's probably the best preserved mosaics that we've seen. You can really see all the designs on the floor of this place. And then even on this other room, some different designs. Yeah, so the inside of the house is really cool, a lot better than I expected. So you can see they removed all the, the floor from the country house. So you can see all the Roman part here. And here was the, the kitchen of the, the house. You can see the, the height. <laughs> yeah, look at the height. So the original floor was all the way down there. And this was from, yeah, 100, 200 years ago, this part. 
Yeah, that's what it was, kitchen and room. Previous site of wine production from the third and fourth centuries. So I guess that's what all this was down here, like a wine cellar. So we're now exploring the town where the ruins are situated. So this is called Estoy and there's like a palace back here, but we think it might be closed because of COVID. We're just going to the gate now and we're going to see. But even the town part is beautiful. Look at all these colorful old Portuguese buildings all around. Seems to be open, right? Mm -hmm. What is it? Estoy Palace and Gardens. Firstborn son of Colonel Francisco. 17th, 18th, 20th and 21st century. <laughs> it looks like we got lucky. Yeah. We thought it was going to be closed. Yeah, it's a good thing it's open. <laughs> yeah. Ah, check out the nice tiles there. Yeah, everywhere in Portugal you get these nice tiles. Not sure who this guy is, maybe the owner of the, the palace back in the day. Wow, oh, look at the garden area here. right here is uh, the main entrance to the palace so it's shut right now because it's actually a hotel now so you can stay here if you want but check how awesome that looks beautiful colors beautiful garden as well and they would have had the, the awesome view up there of all these gardens with the orange trees everywhere Posada Palacio de Estoy. Look at this for a epic ceramic wall. Whole thing's covered. Whoa. Check the guy's face. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, check these other statues. Venus. Literally the, the ceramics everywhere. So the garden area of the palace is basically just loads of orange juice. Make some orange juice. Have pomegranate. Pomegranate? Yeah. What, is that this one? Yeah, so obviously I definitely recommend checking out this place if you're in the Algarve Estoy for the, the Roman ruins and this palace, way better than we expected. Even this walkway now, the main walkway, <laughs> look how awesome this looks. Everything beautiful around here, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't know why this place is not more popular. Yeah, it's not really talked we've about never, that much. We've never heard about it before. So. Yeah, I never see it in like Algarve photos or anything. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, it's super beautiful. I mean, this, this is probably one of the most beautiful things I've seen, buildings.
just arrived in Santa Luzia, which is like a sleepy little fishing town on the coast. And this is where we're going to be staying for the next five nights. So the place that we booked is 76 US dollars per night, but that's for two bedrooms, so for the four of us. Big bedroom. Kind of a bit of an old style, but... Yeah, still nice and well preserved and well kept. Yeah, and we have, AC. have AC, definitely don't need that because mm -hmm. it's winter now. Got nice, uh, yeah, kind of like ceramic floor. Even here you have the cool designs Portuguese style inside. And then this is the other bedroom, so two single beds. And through here we have the pink bathroom. Nice big one also. And then through here we got the living room. Pretty cool, right? Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Got a nice sofa, nice table. This is the TV and sound system, I guess. And wow, look at that for a kitchen. I like the the arch. We're probably going to be cooking a bit, right? Probably in the evenings, maybe. Or, oh, and they, they some even breakfast and some, oh, yeah. some drinks, like a uh, water. Wine. Wine. Oh yeah, they give us some wine for free. And then out here we have a little balcony that we can sit on. Can sit out here and really nice view. Got a cool old abandoned building there. Looks like a little old farm building. That over there is actually salt. As I mentioned, we're right on the coast. So you have a river here. And then on the other side is kind of like an island with a beach on it. So be able to check that out later. And they have a rooftop as well with a barbecue and an area that you can sit down and eat up there. And that also has like 360 views of everywhere. So yeah, it's a great spot for $76 for, for all four of us. Got the fish as usual. So yours is hobalo. What is hobalo in English? Uh, sea bass. Okay, so that was 12 euros, and I got a uh, grilled salmon, which is also 12 euros. I also got this uh, Portuguese beer as well, super box stout, and that was two euros. And what did you guys get? I got some chops. I don't know what they are. Pork chops or something. No, cachaça. Yeah, it's like pork chops and mine is a pork. Oh yeah? <laughs> Fibras. But not pork chops. It's like, uh, can't remember. Then can't remember. <laughs> How much are those? You know? Minus 9.50. 9 euros 50. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's cheaper than the fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's some of the tours that they normally have around here. It's got big lagoon tour, 35 euros per person. Cabana's route, 20 euros. Also have dolphins around here apparently. I'm not sure if that's all season, 25 euros. Got fishing trips as well, 45 euros. So we ended up having a coffee back there as well and some dessert. Yeah, we all ate quite a lot and we're kind of tired now actually, but we're just going for a quick walk here. It's kind of like a ghost town right now. Very, very quiet place. See all the fishing boats here now that the tide's gone down. Tiny ones here. And this is a ferry. I think normally they have a ferry service, but I don't think that's going on at the moment.
So we're heading back to the apartment now. We're not really going to do anything for the rest of the day. It's pretty cool with the new drone though, how far I can go. Went all the way to the beach. And you probably saw that there's a little train as well that takes people to the beach. I didn't know that. So yeah, just loving the Algarve at the moment. Every single day that we go out exploring, always finding cool places. So if you like the video, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one.